Hello and welcome to Shadow of Judgment. What is Shadow of Judgment? This is where we go over what's in the dirty background for you. Things you might not know, things you might be doing in secret, whatever the choice is really. We're going to go ahead and see what the sign is we're going to be reading for. I already did water and fire, so it's between air and earth. Eh, air. This is literally the same order I did them last time. This is actually the order I kind of put my cards in, except like, um, water usually comes first for me. Just because I always see water is like the, the youngest of the, um, court cards. So, Gemini, you're first. That's your first card, Seven of Pentacles. Look at over shit. You are looking over stuff. Seeing how your investment's gone and why nothing has started for you. <laughs> why you can't have this new beginning. That is your motive. Oh, I need to eat something. I haven't eaten yet. I've been up for like four hours now. Ah, definitely mauling over things for you, eh? Mmm. A bit of control. Hmm. You are definitely, like, plotting shit. I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. All right, Gemini. Let's see here for your shadow. What's going on with you in the background? All right, so you're looking over some shit that's just got your guard up a little bit too hard. It's like you've paid attention to this shit. It has been driving you crazy. It has been um making you paranoid and extra guarded because this relationship didn't work out no matter how much you withheld. Um, it's starting to wane. You're starting to lose your strength to hold on to, like, whatever the beast is inside. Um, could be dealing with a Leo, right? You're, speaking of Leo, King of Wands is up here, too. And you're kind of looking over things, because it's just like, this. that's making you a little bit, um... Like, it's like you're mulling over all this shit with the Four of Cups. And it's got you in this point where you're kind of arrogant about shit and you don't want to offer your cup up to anybody, especially this person you're disconnecting with, because you feel like there's no new beginning here. And you kind of are doing, you're kind of trying to get control. Like you're sitting over here looking at all this and how it's mauled you over and it's just kind of like, mm. like you want to come together, but you want it your way in order for everyone to achieve their happiness because you think it's, that's probable. Could be Sagittarius, this is Aries, of course. But that's kind of what's going on with your, sh with your shadow of judgment right now. I think you want to come together with this person who you're separated from. You just want it on your terms and it's getting annoying to you because it's not happening. Or this could be the person you're dealing with. Either or. That's your shadow of judgment, Gemini. Let's see. Libra, it's time for your shadow. Let's see what's going on with you in the background, huh? Only imagine, you guys are always into some crazy, wild adventures that are more, like, mentally plaguing than anything, which is just kind of like, I, 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 like, I don't know, my dad's like that, because he's a Libra. I don't know, Libras are kind of weird, too, man, because it's like, they get so mad when you don't do what they want you to do. And they kind of hold it against you like you slighted them. But I don't, un I've never understood why. It's kind of like, you know, like, how can you be mad that people have a different opinion than you? But that's just me. Not like it's an opinion, it's just they have some sort of established balance, I guess. And when people don't go with the balance, it throws them off. And then, like, they get furious. They just don't tell you. <laughs> oh, you want to manifest something because you feel left out in the cold? You want to come back in, but something is not changing, and you're kind of trying to fight this manifestation off, I feel like. 
Ooh, could be a bad relationship or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, something to get completed. That's why, like, something doesn't, like, you're in a looping cycle. Like, something just keeps happening over and over again. And it's not ending. It's like the definition of stupid or insanity. Keep doing the same fucking shit, thinking you're going to get different results, I think. <clears throat> okay. Weird, Libra. I have to say. I don't know. Da, 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 da. Oh, this is bothering you guys bad. See, that's what I mean by the mental torture shit. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mm, Libra. Let's see if I can get two more for you. Okay. Oh, no. Actually, you get three more. I'll give you that. Oh, you are fucking <laughs> What the fuck, Libra? What is with you guys as of late? It's like, it should be whack for you. Like, it's almost over. All these burdens are over for you, but it's like, you are so insecure about shit, right? Okay, so there's something that's being manifested, either by you or somebody else. But it's like, someone's ready to battle. They want to get on top of everything and then ride in to, like, back in the day to, like, say some shit. Um, they're even, like, almost even on the edge of, like, going in for battle and be it, like training yourself to prepare for the battle you know like look at him he's in like his regular clothes he's got all these sticks posted with dummies and he's like whacking them all like whack whack i can do this just so he could go in the battle prepared and trained and shit right and it's like you're going but you're but it's like someone's trying to come back for an apology for some shitty stuff they've done based on this um insecurity about what made them happy now something isn't dying it's keeping some of y'all if not the person you're dealing with in a closed loop where it's keeping their brain just stuck on this shit because they've been left out in the cold for so long and they want to come back in um when it comes to either some sort of relationship that just became unhealthy or even a capricorn where the door is kind of closed like if it was like a definite like pairing or whatever like that, like, kind of no longer exists, and that's was what the happiness was based off of, along with this shit, too. Like, you're locked in, and you're locked out. <laughs> How weird. <clears throat> that's your shadow, Libra. Take it accordingly. It could be anybody, really. I think, like, I'm not sure if it's you or not, but you're definitely the one trying to write in to say something with quickness. <clears throat> Cutting, maybe. But I don't know. Maybe you're trying to like fuck somebody's head up before like you go in for the kill. I'm not sure. Hmm. Aquarius, your shadow of judgment is next, my loves. So let's see what is up with you. Let's see what's going on in the background. What you plotting? What you scheming? What's the deep dark secrets that boil up inside of you? I'm sorry, I had to make that like sound really sexy. Just for a second. Just for a little bit. Oop. Lack of movement is one motive. When it came to an unhealthy relationship that went down the drain. Stuff you're thinking on right now. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It was a very genuine connection for a time, I feel like. I think, like, you know. Okay. Let's see. Mmm. see your shadow of judgment like yours guys this came out pretty quick too very appreciative of that you guys want your shit out so you have an idea of what's going on backstage right 
So, like, there's a lack of movement, possibly with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or at least someone has that energy going on with them. Where there's there's no movement because someone's being really, really selfish and not, like, giving a fuck about other people's emotions. And they're not willing to work things out. They'd rather just be a con, a liar. they rather, like, people acknowledge them for little shit that anybody can do, like a five-year-old can do. Like, look, I put this in this shape. Well, it's because it's a circle. You're like a hundred years old. You should know this. I know, but I still figured it out. <laughs> it's like they could be a computer tech and they could be showing you like how a Chinese finger trap works. And it's just like everybody knows that. Like, what the hell, right? Now you're lo now you're kind of mauling, thinking over, trying to recover from a ten of swords that has left you just all pissed. Like, you have been betrayed once again. <laughs> and now you're just in a negative space because I feel like you really trusted the person. But it turns out they were just a shitty fucking dream, right? Now, this connection's over. It was bad, but it was like... It was so healthy, but somebody drove somebody else away without thinking about it. But in reality, it was very much an unhealthy relationship, you know? Someone looking over this, getting even more angry... Because now they're looking back and be like, I should have just never fucked with this person to begin with. Or I should have never fucked with this situation to begin with. You or a person you're dealing with, Aquarius. That is your shadow judgment right there. I hope this resonates with whoever it does. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Right? Um, thanks for watching my video. And if you want a personal reading, my email is in the description box below, as well as my PayPal. I don't charge, but I take donations and chips. You guys have a good day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. Love yous.